Seventh graders, we have one more rhythmic concept to master this year. And if we can do this, we can play really almost anything, which is really exciting as we look towards next year. So today we're going to work on what we call the dotted eighth, sixteenth rhythm. So just to make sure that you guys are seeing what these things are, we have an eighth note with a dot. And then we have one sixteenth note. When you write them together on one beat where the stems are touching, it's written like this. So you see, that's an eighth note with a dot. That's one sixteenth note. So usually they're written together like that, a dotted eighth sixteenth. Now, you're very familiar with dotted notes. We played a dotted half note. A dotted half note has three beats. A dotted quarter note has three subdivisions of a beat. Those subdivisions are eighth notes. So every time you have a dotted note, you take the, the note value that's shorter than that note, and you just have three of that note value. So th a dotted half note is three quarter notes. A dotted quarter note is three eighth notes. So we have a dotted eighth note, it's three sixteenth notes. So when you think about the dotted eighth note, you have to first think about sixteenth notes. So right here we have four sixteenth notes. We have one, E, and uh, two. If I were to tie the first three of those sixteenth notes together, we would have the one, but the E and the and would be small because they're now a part of the one. The uh is large. And there's a two. It's normally written like this. The dotted quarter note has the three sixteenth notes as its three subdivisions. One E and and then you say the uh and you say two. So when you count these three measures, you get one E and a two, one a two, one a two. So again, you have to subdivide in sixteenth notes. One E and a two, one a two, one a two. Now, when you play dotted eighth sixteenth notes, you have to make sure that you're putting the ah uh and the two right next to each other. So you gotta make sure, and maybe I wrote these, I could have written them closer together. The ah uh and the two are just as close together as the one and the e. If you go faster, one e and a two, one, a two, one, a two. It kind of sounds like a sneeze, one, a two. One, a two. As long as you're putting the two on the foot down, that's going to be just fine. With dotted eight sixteenths, usually the composer really, really wants the uh next to the two. That's why they write that rhythm. So make sure that you're putting the uh and the two right next to each other. And if you can get this rhythm down, then we have almost any piece of music that we can play rhythmically next year. So work hard on it. If you have any questions, hit the envelope on the Schoology page, put, put it in the discussion board so we can all be a part of a discussion about it, or you can email me. Either way, if you need something, let me know. Good luck with this rhythmic concept. It's a really fun one, and once you really get playing on this one, um, we can play all sorts of music. So good luck, work hard, have a good week.